Hello CloudNet members. Today we are going to learn how to edit your Easy Attendant voicemail call flow for your company main line. Most likely your CloudNet technician has already built your Easy Attendant with the menu options that you've requested. So today we'll have an overview of the Easy Attendant web GUI portal so that you have an overall understanding so that you can make your own edits and changes. We'll have a brief explanation of some terms first and then we'll log in and take a look at the graphical user interface. All of your staff phones are assigned a DID, a direct inward dial phone number, so that outside parties may directly ring to an extension. If that extension does not answer, the caller will then drop into the mailbox assigned for that particular extension. Now, as you know, all companies have a main line or a main phone number. This number is published so that people can find and call your business. So today we're going to focus on how cha to change the voicemail menu options for your mainline auto attendant. For this demo you need to understand, I have a CloudNet VoIP phone on my vet desk. I have a DID that callers can call to reach my extension and bypass the company main greetings in order to speak to me. If I do not answer, they'll be routed to my personal mailbox and hear my personal greeting. I also have a second phone number that's been designated as a main line phone number. This is a number that's routed and points to a greeting that I've built for this demo that reflects a script that would simulate options that your company may have within the voicemail system. Here's the simulated script as recorded with the options that I have chosen. Hello, you've reached the XYZ widget company. To ring Scott's extension, press 1. To leave Scott a voicemail, press 2. To dial another extension, press 3. For our text by name directory, press 4. To speak with our sales department, press 5. Lastly, I have a hidden option that I've programmed but not recorded for the callers to hear, and that option is to be transferred to my cell phone, press 9. So let's log in and look at the programming options for a company's simulated auto attendant. You'll browse to the portal location, and this location will be given to you by your installing technician. You will log in with your 10-digit mainline phone number, and the login password will be given to you by your installing CloudNet technician. Here we are logged into our web GUI for our easy attendant portal, and the very first thing I want to do is draw your attention over at the top right hand side of the web GUI. This turn off function, this is fairly important that you understand this. If you disable this function right here, then your callers when they dial the main company telephone number, they will hear, I am sorry, that number is not available. So fairly important to leave this turned on right here. Directly above we have our log out prompt right here. Underneath the settings, you can change your voicemail pin or your GUI login pin. But if you're using the auto attendant, all of your changes will be made underneath the easy attendant menu. So we're looking at the main screen right now. And for my fictitious widget company, I've chosen to use a schedule for a daytime script and a nighttime script with some different options within the day and the nighttime script. So here's my day script, my business hours menu, and my non-business hours menu. These menus are just the options that I give the callers digits to press while they're listening to the main greeting. But right over the top left is where I set that schedule for my business hours, my daytime script to play. So you can see I've chosen 8 to 4, Monday through Friday, but if I wish to add some Saturday hours that I was going to be open, I would just click, highlight those, and uh, click apply down here at the bottom right hand side. But we're going to transition up to this business hours menu and look at the options that I've given my callers. The digits 1 through 9 and 0, of course. As you can see, the digit 0 I've left unassigned. I haven't given the callers uh, the option to press a 0 to be routed anywhere, but I've got two choices in here. I can either transfer to a specific phone or transfer to an operator. But if you look at the digits 1 through 9, you have more options available to you 
um, options that you can give to your particular caller. Now, this play announcement. You notice that, let's come up to number six. I've already, I've just set this play announcement. Let's look at it. I'll use my drop down. And within my main greeting, I've told the callers that they can press the digit six to hear our fax and address, our business location. Notice the little red record tab right here? Well, the reason it's red and it says record is because I built this auto tendon a few days ago. And um, just within the last few minutes, I decided I was going to add that option six uh, just for this demo today. Uh, tell the callers to press the digit six to hear our fax and address. So I, I logged into the easy attendant and I added that play announcement prompt. But I haven't recorded the script yet. I haven't told the callers where our address is and our fax number. So that's why I'm seeing the red record. If I click the record key or red record function right here, if I've got a microphone hooked up to my PC, I can record it directly from my PC. Otherwise, I have to uh, dial in from my telephone dial pad, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But my other options for a key is to transfer to a specific phone, transfer to a specific phone's mailbox, dial by extension. You can see directly up above option number three, that's what I've enabled key three to do. So in my greeting, I've told the callers, if you know your party's extension, press the digit three, followed by the extension number to dial that person directly. Then I below, I have a dial by name function. This is um, the auto attendant. It's the company directory, meaning that um, if the coworkers know the person's name that they're looking for, you can instruct them in the main greetings to press the digit four to reach our dial by name directory, and then they'll be prompted to text in the coworker's name. Now, if you choose to use that option, that dial by name or dial by extension, we're going to need to come up to the extensions tab right here. This will bring up all of the coworkers, all of the extensions built within your business group right here. Now, down here at the bottom, we've got a couple of choices. We can mark as included or mark as excluded. By default, it will include all of the extensions built within the business group. So if you had somebody, say maybe an executive or somebody that didn't want to be found in the text by name or dial extension specifically, you can come up, find them, and then mark as excluded right here. That way nobody can dial uh, their extension from within the main auto attendant. Now, um, while we're within this screen as well, the extension screen, since in our auto attendant we've chosen to use the text by name or spell by name directory to find coworkers, we notice that we've got a couple people within our office. Um, the main line, we've got Dustin right here. Let's see if we can find somebody else. Andy is another one. Those are mailboxes that the owner of those mailboxes has not set up their mailbox yet. Remember when you set up your mailbox for the very first time, you were asked to change your default passcode, you were asked to record your name, and you were asked to record an outgoing greeting. Well, right here, this is telling me that Andy hasn't chosen to set up his mailbox yet. So you can click the record tab right here. And if you've got a microphone hooked up to your PC, you can record the name for his mailbox. You can record his first and last name. That way he can be found within the company spell my name directory. So that was just a real brief overview of the easy attendant and some of the programming options available to you. Over here, you have a record initial greeting. Um, again, with a microphone hooked up to your PC, you can uh, record your main greetings with all of the options available to your callers from your PC. Otherwise, you'll dial in from your telephone and we'll jump into that here in just a moment. So here will be your steps to dial in and record those main greetings. 
from a non-CloudNet device, such as a cell phone, you'll dial 480-302-6991. You'll be prompted to dial your 10-digit business mainline phone number, followed by the pound key. You'll then be prompted to dial the security code given you, to you by your CloudNet technician, followed by the pound key. To record the main greetings from a CloudNet phone on your network, you'll dial that same phone number of 480-302-6991. When the system answers, you'll press the star key. At that point, you'll be prompted to dial your 10-digit mainline number, followed by the pound key. You'll be prompted to dial the security code given to you by your CloudNet technician, again followed by the pound key. And then when you're in the system, she will prompt you to press the digit 1 to change your Easy Attendant configuration. To record your Easy Attendant main greetings, you'll call 480-302-6991. Your area code and phone number, followed by pound. If you make a mistake and need to start again, press the star key. Enter your 10-digit business line main telephone number. Nothing has been selected. Finish by pressing pound. Please enter your PIN, followed by pound. If you make a mistake and need to start again, press the star key. To listen to the subscriber's easy attendant, just press pound. Enter your PIN, followed by pound. Welcome to Subscriber Services. To change your Easy Attendant configuration, press 1. To change your account settings, press 2. To leave this account and log on as another subscriber, press 3. Press 1. Easy Attendant configuration. Your Easy Attendant is on. The current schedule is business hours. You have one announcement that requires recording. To turn off your easy attendant, press 1. To edit announcements for business hours, press 2. Press to 2. To edit announcements for non-business hours, press 3. To record names for numbers in your dial list, press 4. I'm pressing 2. You have an announcement for the initial greeting. You have no announcement for T6. Press the key for the announcement you wish to edit. Pound to edit the initial greeting, or star to return to the previous menu. I'm going to press the digit Nothing 6 and record our you facts an and address. For the initial greeting, six. please make your recording after the beep. When you have finished, press pound. We are located at 123 Any Street, USA. Our fax number is 555-1212. Here is your announcement for T6. We are located at 123 A Street, USA. Our fax number is 555-1212. To save the recording as is, press 1. To re-record this announcement, your recording has been saved. You have announcements for T6 and the initial greeting. Press the key for the announcement you wish to edit. Pound to edit the initial greeting or star to return to the previous menu. I'm going to press pound and record that select. option six. Here is your initial greeting. Hello, you've reached the XYZ widget company. To ring stop extension, press one. To restart a voicemail, press two. To dial another extension, press three. For our text by name directory, press four. To speak with our sales department, press five. Thank you. To re-record this announcement, Press 1. To exit, press the stop. Please make your recording after the beep. When you have finished, press pound. Hello, you've reached the XYZ Widget Company. To ring Scott's extension, press 1. To leave Scott a voicemail, press 2. To dial another extension, press 3, followed by the extension number. For our text by name directory, press 4. To speak with our sales department, press 5. For our fax and address, press 6. Thank you for calling. Here is your initial greeting. Hello, you've reached the XYZ Widget Company. To ring Scott's extension, press 1. To leave Scott a voicemail, press 2. To dial another extension, press 3, followed by the extension number. For our text by name directory, press 4. To speak with our sales department, press 5. For our fax and address, press 6. Thank you for calling. To save the recording as is, press 1. To re-record this 
Your recording has been saved. So we just dialed in on a cell phone, went through the steps how to change those main greetings, and next we're going to talk about how to dial in from an Aster device to change those main greetings. Again, your steps will be to call 480-302-6991, and then you're going to need to identify yourself as an owner or a manager of this system. Now, depending upon your software, you will either press the star key or the 7 key to identify yourself as an owner and to hear that prompt to dial the mainline telephone number finished by pressing pound and then lastly enter the security code finished by pressing pound. So let's go through those steps here real quick. We'll call 480-302-6991 select the dial soft key and in this software we're going to press 7. Please enter your area code and phone number, followed by pound. If you make a mistake, eight zero seven four five thirty nine forty five pound. Please enter your PIN, followed by pound. If you make a mistake and need to start again, press the star key. To listen to this subscriber's easy attendant, just press pound. Now I've changed my default PIN, so I'm going to input my code of two two seven eight seventy two. Finish by pressing pound. Welcome to Subscriber Services. To change your easy attendant configuration, press 1. So, this concludes today's overview of your auto attendant web GUI. And as always, we hope you found this tutorial helpful. And from all of us at CloudNet, we thank you and have a wonderful day.